this is Robert Capuccio, Director of Coaching for the Virtual VRC. Warren Buffett once said that the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they're too heavy to be broken. What exactly did he mean by that? I think what he meant by that is the quality of our lives are determined by the quality of our habits. So what better way to launch into a new beginning than with the selection of a new habit? Core habits are interesting because core habits are those habits that even though they're small, seemingly inconsequential, when compounded over time, they make the biggest difference, not only to the performance, but the quality of our lives. Core is an acronym, and here's how it works. Let's identify a habit, supposedly, that we're gonna create for ourselves. And let's say you select, not saying you are, but if you did, you wanted to run because you wanted to work on cardiorespiratory fitness and you kind of wanted a space to clear your head every morning before you tackle your day. The first letter in the word core stands for Q. What you would do is restructure your environment around that goal. So you might decide to go out and buy a new pair of running shoes and place them right in front of the door. So you literally cannot walk out of your house without tripping over your running shoes. That's a cue in your environment that prompts you to engage in your new chosen behavior, running. The O stands for observation. This is where you observe on a scale from one to 10. How enjoyable am I gonna find this running experience? Because let's face it, if you don't enjoy doing it, you're probably not gonna do it very long. So you might say, well, oh, if I have to run for 30 minutes a day, that's arduous. So it might just be 10 minutes to start. And you might say, you know what, on a scale from one to 10, I can go up a whole other point if I just listen to some inspiring music. The R stands for ritual. How do you ritualize this habit? By identifying specifically how long you're gonna run for. What time of day you're gonna go for the run? Is it 6 a.m., 6.30? The clearer you get, not only the greater the likelihood you'll follow through, but on days when you fall short, you can recalibrate and get right back on track because you have that framework to support you. And the final letter is E. How am I going to enforce this habit by small, immediate rewards? And it could be a perfectly made cup of espresso immediately following a run or anything that you like. So hope this is helpful in helping you identify and successfully execute on the habits that give you the quality and experience that matters most in the new season ahead.